Um, it seems like the um, fat cells, the adipose tissue, um, uh, I'm not sure if it's just in the gut or elsewhere, well, seems to store vitamin D, but not to use vitamin D, but they don't reach the same mm. plasma level of vitamin D, um, not at all. So people being told to take even 4,000 units, uh, you know, check their bloods and their yeah. vitamin D's hardly shifted. And I've got some patients who are on 12,000 units a day. And that's what gets them up into the sort of 40 to 50 range bracket. From what I can tell from what I've read, um, you need at least 100 micrograms a day if you're taking 4,000 units of vitamin D. And seeing as many people don't get levels of 50, even with 4,000, they often need 6,000 or 7,000 or 8,000 units a day. Um, I, I, I tell people to take 200 once they're going above 4,000. Living in a, in a simple situation, um, we would be eating uh, animal products and the animals would be fed on grass. And right. of course, the, the vitamin K2 is made by uh, bacterial activities yep. in the animal's yep. guts. So mass produced farming, the, the meat and the milk will have low levels of vitamin K, whereas in the natural, K2 rather, K2, K2. whereas in the, natu in, in, the, in the natural situation, there'd be high levels of K2. And, and of course, from, from fermented foods as well, I, I guess it would be normal to store foods for uh, for fermentation as well. Yes. Um, yeah. As happens yeah. in Japan, for example, yeah. Uh, one should maintain good levels of vitamin D throughout the year. Um, and not just in the winter, there's always this emphasis that, oh, it's the winter time, this is when you need lots of vitamin D. And the rest of the year, well, we'll just ignore it. We've got enough sunshine. Mm. Um, uh, I can tell you that I swim one kilometer every day uh, in the sun. Mm. Uh, for nearly the whole year, mm. um, and I don't reach these levels of vitamin D without taking a supplement. And if you think that a thousand units is only twenty-five micrograms, yeah, and there's a thousand micrograms in a milligram, and there's a thousand milligrams in a gram, yeah, <laughs> these are tiny. These are tiny. It, when it's put into the international units, it's made to sound like some huge whopping yeah, dose, yeah, but yeah. it's really not. And I, I think that roughly, uh, tell me what your thinking is on this. That if, if you and I go outside in the sun in our shorts and we have, you know, it's, it's fairly sunny, we have a reasonable sun exposure, not but well short of being sunburned, I would imagine we're probably making about 20,000 units in, in that hour or two. Does that sound? And again, it will depend on the color of your skin. It will depend sure. on your age, because as we age, our skin's ability to produce vitamin D drops dramatically. You still have outdoor exposure, yeah. um, but it's, it's not enough to rely on it.